There's the dogs. Twenty minutes later. Okay, so I got through shooting just about the entire video when I realized that my iPhone did not capture the first part of me actually opening up this box and me pulling out the very first violet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to record. I'm, I'm not going to pretend to open this because I've already opened this, but I'll just kind of give you a rundown of what I said um, at the very beginning. And then we're going to go back to the point that I actually did capture. So. Basically, um, I've started ordering violets again. It's a dangerous time of year for me because this is when all of the sellers start shipping for the spring. And I've been watching the seller for, for a bit and I just decided to jump right in on ordering new violets for, um, for the year. Sellers are shipping in, uh, it's March right now, I live in Virginia. Weather's not too bad, it could be, um, but it's kind of spotty. It could be 71 day and it could be like, you know, today's like, what 30 uh, 49 degrees so most sellers when they start shipping for the spring i'm going to open this one of the things that they do is they include insulation uh, some of the good the, the good sellers include insulation and what this does is it helps keep the violets at a level temperature it helps keep the cold away from the, um away from the violets um and if i had captured this in the beginning um, the violets was in the center of all of this insulation. So this is, this is great packing, uh, very sturdy. When I opened up the violets and I saw the, um, the you know, the packaged up violets in here, they were, I mean, even though that they had sat out on the porch and they had traveled all the way from North Carolina, well, we're not that far from North Carolina where we're located, but it's still a couple days, you know, on a mail truck. And so it came out pretty well. So when you are ordering for the um for early spring then you're likely going to get some insulation in with your packaging some sellers might even include a heat pack in there but you'll likely pay more for that but uh, this the seller provided all of this included in the price so now the very first violet that i had opened is and i can't i still can't pronounce this a uh, cajuns i think it's cujon or something cajun Cajun's Cujon. It's, it's very Louisiana sounding. And basically, this is a nice, uh, and most of these violets that I got are little two inches. So these are young violets. They're, um, they're just beginning and very nice. And this is a variegated one. I think this one is going to have some nice pink, um, pink blooms with some fantasy edging, if I remember correctly. And, um, this series came from, this is the part of the Cajun series. And, you know, it was, if I had the video originally, you would have seen that it was packaged up very nicely, but no worries. I got the other, um, I had actually ordered six plants. I managed to get seven. So you'll actually get to see the opening of the other six plants after this one. So, sorry about that. So Cheryl's Hawaiian Lay. And I found this seller. I mean, I think I had run across her website before. And but this was in the middle of winter, of course, and nobody's shipping any hardly anybody shipping anything out in winter. I think the only people that might have been shipping some stuff out was uh, the Selective Gardener. That's the folks from um, Optimara. And they they're out in Tennessee, but even they will not ship if the temperature if the mid if the night temperature is below 38 degrees so but i think she wasn't shipping at the time i found her website and then one of the many african violet groups that are on facebook she announced that she is starting her shipping for the spring and i jumped right on that <laughs> all right these are packaged very well there is no mess here at all very careful. Oh, look. Okay, this is, oh, we got a couple of leaves. As usual, there's always some leaf breakage, but my goodness, look at this variegation here. I love variegated violets because the cool thing about violets, they're not, I mean, theoretically, you could have them blooming all the time, but, you know, when they're not, it's nice to have some really pretty foliage so that even if they're not blooming, 
they're gorgeous and this is like some gorgeous foliage here and it looks like looks like there's a little bloom right there gonna come up looks like there might have been yeah here's a old flower stalk here Let's see if you can see all right so this is gorgeous so this one is let's see that's Cheryl's Hawaiian lay and again I'm gonna put a picture of what the bloom's gonna look like when it finally grows up and it's just gonna make this easy because it's always important to make sure that you keep track of who's what, who's what. And oh, a little leaf dropped off. You know I'm gonna propagate it because that's just what I do. All right, so this is, okay, this was the one that I wanted to make sure that I got. And when you see a picture of the bloom, you'll understand why I had to have this one. But it seems like I'm getting into the more varieties from Eastern Europe, which is awesome. Kind of as a side note, when I was at my meeting for um, African Violet Societies, one thing, and this is kind of touching on what's going on here in Ukraine right now, they said that there's a lot of hybridizers out from Ukraine that, you know, they're pretty much, they're, ha they're evacuating, they had to leave their collections behind. So one of the things that our group wanted to do was to find as many of those um, varieties as possible and start hybridizing them and start propagating them to make sure that they stay around. And I, I'm volunteering for that because I think that's an awesome thing to do. So very awful, awful situation. Okay, now here is, all right, so we got a blossom. There's a blossom right there. Very nice, got lots of leaves. Again, these are young plants. So I can't wait to stick these in the lights. Well, first have to quarantine them first, even though that they're that young. And, you know, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous um, blooms. I mean, they're one of, the, and they have like those um, double, uh, double flowers with pink and white and just lovely, lovely flowers. So that is L.E. Isadora. All right. Okay, next thing is sea bells, and I'm not quite sure who hybridizes that. I was doing some research to see who that was from. I'm not quite sure. My watch is just ringing off the hook. I guess I have a bunch of stuff. Emails and stuff like that. Okay, the emails are going to have to wait because I got to gotta open these. Because violets will not wait. And like I said, I'm still kind of new to this whole... African violet thing. Seems like a lot of folks are sending out their younger plants here in the spring, which makes sense. Because if they've been growing them all, all winter, I've been growing plants all winter too. Woo! Whoa, look at all these leaves here. There are a ton of leaves. Pretty, pretty, pretty violet. And I think this might be a miniature, if I can remember correctly. This looks like this is a miniature violet. So got a ton of leaves and I believe that this has some nice little um, purple blooms when it finally starts blossoming. I don't see any blossoms yet, which is fine. Okay. Sea bells. I believe I got this one off of eBay, on, off of the eBay uh, site. And next one is Rob's Heat Wave. This is part of the Rob series, so I've got um, I've got Rob's Vanilla Trail, and I think I think this hybridizer does a lot of trailers, so I believe this is either a trailer or a mini or something. Whatever it is, it's lovely. I believe it has like these uh, hot pink uh, on blooms. Awesome, and it also has some fantasy as well. Um, I've really started getting into the fantasy uh, markings on blooms. And did not when I first started, I did not know that there were so many different varieties varieties of fantasy um, blossoms. You have like your you know your basic speckled ones, and then you also have ones that have streaks. And you know it just basically looked like um, anybody remember back in the day they had those paintings of uh, those fractal paintings or something like that. Well, it looks like that's what like those um, fantasy streaks sometimes look like to me, like almost like fractals. These are packaged really well. They are not going anywhere. No dirt. This was very, very clean packaging. Bravo, Appala Appalachian Violets. Okay. 
All right, and there we go. There is, and this is, if I'm looking at this, this is not a trailer. I believe this is like a semi miniature. Yeah, you can usually tell if it's a trailer by seeing if there's a crown. So if there's a crown, so this is not a trailer. Weird how I order these things, and I don't know whether it's a trailer or whether it's a mini. By the time it gets here, I forget. <laughs> so I just from I just basically look at the blooms. Um, also, in the case of Cheryl's um, Hawaiian Lei, I also saw the foliage, and I just decided I had to have that. So all right, so that is number five is Red Summit. Again, not quite sure who hybridized this one. And this one has like, um, if I remember correctly, this has some really bright pink uh, star blossoms, if I'm remembering correctly. I'm unpacking these. Remember to have some sharp scissors because if they pack it well, it's going to be a struggle to get them out. <laughs> You want that because you don't want a whole mess. You also want your plants to be safe, so I'm not complaining at all that it's taking a little bit to get in these. Okay. The last thing you want is sorry packaging. Okay, here we go. Again, this is a young, this is the young plant. So again, these were these are two inches, quite clearly. So these are young plants. So this is Red Summit. Long leaves here, and I don't see any blooms yet. No worries, I'm sure they'll come in time, and if you know the protocol, it doesn't help to have blooms anyway. So there's a whole method that I've learned ever since I started ordering online. There's a whole quarantine protocol and method that you do in order to ensure that you keep your entire collection healthy. And having blooms doesn't necessarily make it easier. All right, so, um, now this one, I know I did not order this one. I'm pretty sure I did not order this one. So this looks like it's a surprise one. So thank you very much for the surprise. I'm, I'm quite certain I did not order this one. But I, I clearly recall six. And this makes one, two, three, four, five, six. This makes seven. So thank you for the bonus. I love surprises. Of course, if I, I, I could have ordered it in my sleep, I think I put these orders down at midnight on one Wednesday. Today's Friday. So that's what happens when you shop online late, late at night. And if you hear in the background some kind of hacking noise, that's my... Oh, hey, No-No. I'm sorry. That's my dog, No-No. Noah. He is my 12-year-old Pomeranian. And he has collapsing trachea. It's a horrible, horrible disease. If you, if you have Pomeranians, you know how terrible that disease is. Basically, it collapses their um, their windpipes the older they get, and they just have that awful coughing noise. So, okay, very young plant. You know what? I'm gonna have to look this up um, to see what the blooms are gonna look like, and I'll post these. But I love a I love a bonus plant. So, like I said, I hope somebody is not missing their plant here. But if it's a surprise, thank you so much for the surprise. Because who doesn't want another plant? All right, so these are my plants from Appalachian Violets. Very, very nice plants here. Tons of leaves on this one. This is, like I said, I love variegated because they're gorgeous even without blooms. So very nice, very healthy plants, very well packaged. And also, um, you know, even though it's March, weather's still spotty, so also had some great protection against uh, sudden cold snaps and stuff like that. So like I said, I have a whole protocol of what I'm going to be doing to handle these. But And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap them up in a plastic bag and try and find some room in my, and try and find some room in my quarantine room because um, I also went a little crazy last weekend because our local garden center had a sale on African violets and I got mm, five five of them. <laughs> so um, I'm going to have to find some room for these guys. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unwrap the soil. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and make another video to show you what I do after I receive a shipment from online. And so that way, if you're not familiar with what you do when you receive new violets online, I'll show you what I do. All right, I'll be back. 